All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula, and we want to see which of the following statements is true for our formula. All right, so now let's take a look at our E, which equals R divided by a fourth. And remember, when we divide fractions, we turn this division sign into the multiplication sign, and we multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction right over here. So the reciprocal is going to be 4 over 1, which is just 4. So our E equals R times 4, which gives us 4R. All right, so now let's take a look at our answers. A states that E times R is greater than R squared. So instead of E, we're going to be plugging in 4R, which we just found times r is greater than r squared. Now we have 4r times r, which we simplify to 4r squared, is greater than r squared. And this statement is true because these two values are equal to one another, but this 4 creates a 4 times larger number than the, than the right hand side. All right, so A is going to be our final answer, and now let's take a look why B, C, and D are incorrect. We have r plus 2, is greater than e which is 4r so now we can subtract r on both sides and we are left with 2 is greater than 3r and we can divide 3 on both sides to, to isolate our r so we have 2 thirds is greater than r but because r can be any value it, it does not have to be limited it does not have to have a limitation of two thirds of being less than two thirds so therefore b is incorrect and now let's move on to c all right c states that two r is greater than e which is four r all right so now this statement is already incorrect because two times r has to be smaller than four times r if the values of r are the same so c is incorrect and now let's move on to d all right, so D states that E, which is 4R, plus a half is greater than R. All right, so now let's subtract R on both sides. And we can subtract this half on both sides. And we are left with 3R is greater than a negative half. And now we can divide 3 on both sides. And we are left with R is greater than negative 6, 1 sixth. All right, so this statement is also incorrect, just like we stated in B, that R is not, limited, is not limited to a certain value, and therefore R cannot be greater than or less than, therefore R can be either greater than or less than negative si a sixth, so that means that D is an incorrect statement, and A will remain our final answer.